What's up guys? So today we're gonna be exploring this really cool abandoned castle. So we're walking through the, uh, the trail that leads up to it. New Hampshire. Not typically a place you would come to see a giant two-story medieval styled mansion, but we got a chance to explore an abandoned one hidden in New Hampshire's mountain region. So this castle is uh, about two and a half stories high and it was built in 1894 by a man that was, he used it for his, um, his summer home until he died in about 1920. Let's go uh, check out the second story up here. The owner of the establishment was a very influential person in New Hampshire in the late 1800s. He was president of the Boston, Montreal, and Concord Railways, allowing him to be able to build such an amazing castle. Guys, look what the, uh, the weather has done to this place. Because it was built so long ago and it was abandoned so long ago, they basically, the state took over the, um, the property and they've done nothing with it since. So if you think about it, the, the man who owned this died in 1920. So there's a lot of time, you know, a lot of storms that have happened. As you can see, this wall, basically rain has come down and just went right through the ceiling and is starting to destroy all the floor right around it. If you guys look just beyond me, there's a huge lake behind us. I'm not gonna give the name of it because that would make it pretty obvious for where we are and we don't wanna do that on this channel, but there's a huge lake right behind us. So this guy had this whole thing to himself. Castle even had its own crest. The Latin writing on the bottom means strength, not fierceness, which tells a lot about him as he was known to be a very honorable man. Even though it lays abandoned, you can still get a glimpse of the past as you stare out the old windows and walk down the spiral staircase. Visiting places like this gives us a way to put ourselves in someone else's shoes for a brief moment, and what drives us to keep exploring. I think this is the coolest room out of the whole castle. You have windows on all sides of you, and like I said, you have that awesome view of the uh, lake. All right guys, so this is the uh, the door to the basement. You actually have to go outside. All right guys, so this is the uh, basement. Pretty creepy, there's a lot of stuff in here. In 
1960, the last remaining owner to the castle died, and the property went vacant for almost 20 years. Thank you for watching and remember to share and subscribe for more travel and exploration videos.